Welcome to Hashtag Simulation Game. Within this video, you will be introduced to fundamentals of the game. The game was created to help young people develop and strengthen their decision-making skills on both personal and group level, as well to improve critical thinking with aim to prevent any radicalization among young people. Before you start, make sure you have all resources ready. You might need color papers, markers or pens, stickers or sheet of papers. Don't forget also the printouts. In order to set up cozy environment, you might also use some decorations like hats, scarves, glasses, balloons and other in different colors. Feel free to select videos or printed photos with elements of the relevant situation. If you use video, don't forget about speakers and projector. Any materials can make the atmosphere of the group more realistic. Choose object based on the group needs and specifics. The game is suitable for a group of minimum 8 and maximum 30 participants. Allocate approximately 90 minutes for the implementation and tasks. Start the game with welcome words. Introduce participants into the topic and organizational matters as well expected results. Follow with energizer by your choice based on the group's profile and specifics as age, gender, language, nationality, culture or any other. Create teams depending on the number of participants. Take into consideration profile and background of participants as well their needs. Pay attention to differences in age, gender, language, nationality, culture and other. If any of mentioned issues are important, you can create a team based on it. Divide the group of participants into three to six teams. Once you created teams, it's time to introduce rules and basis of the game. Each team will represent different society. At this point, participants will get opportunity to choose priorities for the development of their societies. Assign different models of decision-making to each society. Remember, each society is characterized by different backgrounds, interests and goals. You can find list of priorities and models of decision-making in the guideline. The game starts. Societies will have to coexist and experiment with different decision-making systems. Propose different themes to societies where number of topics is equal to number of societies. Assign the teams to societies randomly. Each society becomes aware of them and agree on one priority per given theme. Once these priorities are defined, each society selects its representative. Each society sends a representative to the decision-making table where all have to agree on a priority from each of society. Each representative must ask according to the attitude and values of society he or she represents, as well make the decision based on society decision-making system. The representative can stand up and consult the other members of his society if necessary. Let's move to votes. There will be two votes in total. In first vote, each participant must answer yes or no to the following question. Are you as an individual satisfied with the result? In a second vote, each participant receive three stickers symbolizing three votes. Each participant is invited to place stickers on the list of priorities defined by all groups. The participants can stick the stickers where they want and as many times as they want. 
For example, free on the same priority is possible. The results of the vote will be used in the rest of the discussion. In order to get out of the game, choose activity based on the group's profile and specifics as you did with the energizer. Don't forget about the debriefing, which is important element of the game. It helps participants consider what they faced during the game and how it can be connected to their previous experience. At the end of the game, it is recommended to conduct short evaluation. You can find several evaluation activities in the guidelines for your inspiration. Thank to your participants and say goodbye.